guys, welcome back to another Amy Sunday vlog. Today is actually Saturday and the weather is absolutely beautiful. So I'm super excited to get out today. I have to leave the house in literally about five minutes to meet up with my friend Ashley for brunch. And it's just gonna be really casual, just the two of us. She just wanted to drop off a gift for me for my 30th birthday. It is currently April 6th and I am turning 30 in two days, which is kind of frightening. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. Charlie keeps on making a joke and he's like, oh, well, you're gonna, um, you're gonna be part of the 30s club. I keep on declining the invitation to the membership, um, to this club. I don't wanna be a part of it, but you know what? It's okay. I feel good, I, I'm happy, and my life is good for the most part. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to meet up with her and it's so beautiful outside. I cannot stop staring outside the window. We actually have cherry blossoms around our house. So it's so nice and very colorful. Later this evening, Charlie and I are going to go to this really nice restaurant and bar in DC later this evening with our friends, Dan and Katie. So I'm super excited to celebrate my, my birthday with them as well because they wanted to do something. So I'm just really grateful. I'm feeling very happy. I really hope that it's going to be nice this entire weekend, but unfortunately my birthday is on a freaking Monday, which is never a great thing. Right now I'm just chilling at home with Romper. <laughs> Romper is just chilling on the couch right now and I am drinking some tea. This is one of my favorite mugs to drink out of because it has like a tea sifter. Oh, oh my gosh, I need to finish this book so badly. I only have about, I think 15% of it left, which, you know, I, I need to get on it and just finish it already because I've been hanging on to that book for like two months now, which is not, I'm not proud of that. <laughs> I just have literally had no time to read, which sucks because I love reading and I do want to finish that series so that I can start a different book. Anyway, okay, I gotta head out and meet up with my friend Ashley, but I'll take you guys along with me. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. It's been for, oh, it's okay. <laughs> so I got, what did I get, Ashley? Tell me. I got a strawberry fizz. It's a mocktail because, you know, it's 11.30 a.m. in the morning and I'm not about to start that today. They came with a pipette and you have to like squeeze the strawberry out. Strawberry citrus soda. Okay, yeah, that's what it was called. Thank you so much for your contributions. <laughs> um, but it looks kind of weird. Like, <laughs> It's like coming out in chunks, right? I can't like get it out of the pipette. more force. Oh! <laughs> No, you're fine. Yum. So let me explain why there's a vineyard vines back first. So my friend Ashley has worked here for how many years? Five years. Five years. And she would literally work like four hour shifts or something like that. Crazy every like month just to keep her discount for five years. So that's pretty impressive. I don't know what says dedication if that doesn't. But thank you for getting your gift. Should I read the card first? Don't read it. Out. It's sappy. Oh. It's sappy. <laughs> Oh my god, I read that completely wrong. It says Niagara. Yeah. Oh, you read thought. That. <laughs> I was like, Hurt. I have something to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, oh. Ashley. You're welcome. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> oh no, do it again. It wasn't recording. <laughs> I am so obsessed. Look how gorgeous the glass wall that she was talking about and that I was talking about earlier today is over there, I'll show you. I like to put all of my pretty glassware in, so those will definitely be going on this wall. <laughs> she also got me such a cute little birthday card. It has wine and cheetahs and like a cat on it. It's so cute. 
Also, I did get a package from Whiskey Active. I've worked with them on a couple videos before on my channel and I absolutely love their activewear and loungewear. And we are going to be partnering up again on a future video. So they sent me a couple things. This video obviously is not sponsored by anyone, but I thought I would give you guys like a little sneak peek if that would be interesting because I'm like obsessed with their new loungewear stuff right now. This is one of the things I'm literally in love with. This is a tennis inspired kind of polo type sweatshirt it's so cute i also got like a hoodie that is so incredibly soft oh my gosh to lounge around in and matching shorts with it but a haul will be coming soon of all the whiskey active things and i think i'm gonna try to film a few videos for my channel in advance and then i have a couple work related things that i needed to take care of so that's the plan until the evening today let me lower you guys a little bit more charlie and i are about to head out to dinner with our friends katie and dan so just wanted to quickly show you guys my outfit in terms of my bag i'm wearing my polen cute mini bag love it to dress up the outfits a little bit okay and for shoes i'm wearing my everlane what is this called boss boot and it has a pointy toe box i wear these a lot because they're super comfortable and i think the weather is going to get a little bit chilly tonight so i wanted to make sure that my feet were warm and cozy <laughs> for my coat this is just a really simple wrap coat from silk mason and let me show you what i have for my base layer i have a square neck long sleeve shirt from aritzia and i think this is such a flattering neck can i speak neckline the only thing that's annoying about this shirt is that the shoulder caps keep on wanting to slide down that's the only thing but aside from that i think this is such a really like sophisticated but simple and minimal look as a top and then for my pants i just have my madewell baggy jeans it's like very loose and relaxed it's so comfortable it is one of the most comfortable jeans that i own in my uh, wardrobe right now so i want it to be super comfortable because we're gonna have dinner and drinks and stuff like that but yeah the, that's basically it in terms of jewelry i have this really cute pearl necklace it has a little flower this is from ana luisa i did a sponsorship with them a while ago and i love this piece because it's so unique and i love how it's kind of like a statement necklace you know that is it let's go ahead and head out i'm gonna try to see if i can film there but i feel like it's going to be dark so we'll see how that goes about the lighting it's about 7 p.m right now so the sun is going down so many of my clothes are literally living on the carpet floor of my closet I'm pretty sure you can kind of see where that is right now it is right there i have been putting this off for so many weeks you guys oh my gosh so you're gonna have to motivate me to do this right now like tell me scream at me that I need to do this. <laughs> so here's the plan. I'm actually going to try to get all the floors, floors, all the clothes off of the floor and onto the bed so I can figure out where to store them. I do want to switch out a couple areas where I'm storing things. In my drawers beneath the mirror right now, they have my workout gear and some lounge items and things like that. I think I also have a drawer full of basic tops. I actually want to move it to inside the closet, like the walk-in closet, and put them on shelves instead of the drawers. And I wanna use the drawers exclusively for loungewear, athleisure, activewear, all that stuff can stay in the drawers. At least that's the plan. And I'm going to clean out a bunch of stuff. I wanna sell a bunch of stuff because I have way too much stuff. 
Also, in case you're wondering, I am wearing a robe. I do have clothes underneath this, but this is a robe that I got from Victoria's Secret like years ago when they used to give out free robes. Remember those days? When companies would give out free, like nice quality robes as gifts with purchase, it's amazing. So I kept this all these years and it is like my most comfy, snuggliest, fuzziest robe ever. So I love lounging in it. So that's the fit today. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with putting all of my loungewear on the bed to evaluate which ones I want to keep and which ones I can part ways with because I do think that that's the biggest category that I have. I work fully uh, from home, so I live in loungewear, but I do want to pare it down so that I only have sets for loungewear because it's just so much easier in the morning when I'm picking out something to wear and I love lounging in cute sets. So that's the way that I'm going to think. Okay, this is what I have so far. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have a lot of matching sets and sweatsuits because those are primarily what I wear when I am home. I have a couple of graphic t-shirts, a couple of Skims loungewear, oh my gosh, a lot of Lululemon and aloe yoga stuff for loungewear, sweatpants, sweatshirts. I'm gonna go ahead and go through all of this and put a keep pile and then a donate slash sell pile uh, so that I can make some decisions and then I will circle back to you guys. <laughs> okay, the hair went down because the clock wit was giving me a headache. It's been almost two hours since I said that I was starting to declutter. I did take a break to eat dinner, but oh my gosh, I think I got a little too ahead of myself because I did a lot more than I actually anticipated, which is a good thing, but it kind of got out of hand. <laughs> Behind me on the bed, I have everything that I'm going to be keeping in terms of sweatsuits, matching sets, loungewear, so on and so forth. So this is the pile. It looks like a lot, but I promise you, I'm gonna show you the discard or not discard but donate and sell pile is way bigger than my key pile which is very important and also it looks like a lot more than it is because it's not folded and it's just kind of piled on top of each other once it's tidied up and organized and everything it'll make more sense i was gonna try to put these in my drawer but i don't think this is gonna work because the drawers are too shallow so I don't think I can put as many things in here than I thought. I might have to just put something else in these drawers. I have my tops here, like t-shirts, just kind of like simple basics. I do need to go through that, make sure that I don't have duplicates and I can get rid of some stuff in there. But I think what I'm gonna do is take all of these, all the sweatpants, loungewear, matching sets, and take it into <laughs> here and put it in these shelves. This is my bookshelf from Ikea. And I actually like to store some of my knitwear here. I have scarves up at the top. At the bottom I have jeans and then pants at the bottom there. But I'm gonna go ahead and move the pants somewhere in the upper shelves and hopefully fit all of my sweatsuits down in these two shelves. This pile right here is all the clothing pieces that I am going to be donating and or selling. I actually did a quick declutter session that are not just my loungewear, but all the other things too, like dresses, button-up shirts. I have jackets in here, other long sleeves, things like that. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a lot of work trying to go through this pile to figure out what I wanna sell versus what I'm going to donate, but it'll be worth it. And I think I am already feeling pretty accomplished because that's a lot of clothes that I'm getting out of my closet. So it's looking good so far. <laughs> 
Happy Sunday, everyone. I did want to share with you guys right now my Botox update. I feel like I haven't further discussed that with you guys since the last vlog. It's officially been three and a half weeks since my appointment. And so the Botox between my brows, my glabella area should be showing the full effects. For my masseters, apparently it takes a couple more weeks for it to show the full effects, like the jaw slimming and everything. But I do feel a slight difference when I'm trying to clench my teeth. I'm not going down on it as hard as I used to, which is a great thing. For my eyebrows, that was like the most interesting thing for me because I can't scrunch up my <laughs> brows. It's so so interesting it did take me about two weeks to get used to the feeling when you're trying to scrunch up your face and your muscles are just not doing it it's so weird it did feel a little heavy i would say for like the first two weeks i didn't expect that but now i've gotten used to it and i feel like i can't really tell anymore just to give you guys a little demonstration when i'm trying to frown like this is all it does like look between my eyebrows i am like trying my best to like put pressure there to create those 11s but it's not doing it it's kind of crazy like i said for my masseters i don't think i see a difference quite yet but my esthetician said that it will probably take six to eight weeks for that to fully look different if it will some people see a bigger difference than others so it really kind of depends on your muscles and how the botox is affecting them so we'll see I'll obviously keep you guys updated and you guys see me on video twice a week so you guys will definitely see a change if you do. I'm super excited because the next Amy Sunday vlog that you guys see, I'm going to be getting ready and packing for Vegas because Charlie, myself, and a couple of my friends are going to Vegas together to celebrate my 30th birthday. So that is coming up soon and I'm super excited because I've never been to Vegas before in my entire life, which is shocking news for a lot of people I didn't realize until I said it and everyone's like very surprised that I I've never stepped foot in Vegas before. So this will be an interesting experience. And I'm so glad that my friends will be there with me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you want to stick around. And I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.